Hey, what's cracking everybody? On today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Pop! OS. And this is an alpha release for the new Cosmic desktop. So this is my first time looking at Cosmic. This will be your first time looking at Cosmic. But maybe you've seen other videos, but you get the, you get the gist. So uh, on this uh, here first look, what we're going to do is we're going to look at it from the perspective of a new user. We're not going to come at it like we're pros or anything like that. We're just going to go through it, install it, take a look at the desktop, see what it has to offer, and just do simple things as if I was a new user coming over to the system. I'm not doing this as a pro. I'm doing this as a new user. From the perspective of a new user, the way it would look if a new user was coming onto the system. Um, if there is something in detail that you want to see me look at, uh, leave it down in the video description, and I'll do a deep dive on it. And like I said, this is the first look. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a look at it and see what the Cosmic Desktop is about and just see how it looks and how it operates. Looking at it from a new, a new perspective, a new user perspective, that way we can see what we're doing, okay? So I got it up in a virtual machine and right here we have the, uh, the Pop! OS installer. So our first option is to select a language. So I'll go ahead and uh, leave it on English, United States, select. Uh, keyboard layout, English US, select, uh, keyboard layout default, select, uh, clean, they have two options right here. You got clean install and custom advanced. Create, resize, otherwise banish partition memory, this method may lead to data loss. I'll just keep it on clean install. And then uh, what it says right here, virtual block device. And right here you have to select on erase and install. All right, now we're going to give ourselves a username. All right, click on next. Then we're going to choose an account password. Give it a strong and complicated password. Click on next. And then uh, what would you have here? This option right here, drive encryption. Do you want to encrypt your drive? For my case, I don't want it. So I'll be like, nope. And then I'll click on don't encrypt. All right, right now what it's doing, it's partitioning the drive. So I don't know if it's going to take a long time or anything. Or is it actually doing the full installation? It's possibly doing the full installation now. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video now. And then when we come back, we'll see if there's any extra steps to take or if we're going to boot right into the desktop. All right, so I'll go ahead and I'll pause the video now. Okay, and it appears as the installation is now completed. But it says right here, continue setting up. So we're going to go ahead and restart the device and we're going to see what other setup options it's going to offer. The system is now rebooted, so we're going to go ahead and give it our password. Okay, and it appears that we are fully rebooted now. So uh, let's see about uh, fixing this uh, screen resolution. So is this the settings? I'm not getting no tool tips or anything like that, but uh, what is this right here? Let's see, it's workspaces, applications. What does this do? Desktop. There we go. Go to display. Switch our resolution to 1920 by 1080. And keep changes. All right, so we've changed our screen resolution, but it looks a little wonky. Uh, and every everything, the mouse is kind of acting weird. So I'm going to attempt to reboot and see what happens. Oh, wait a minute. It just fixed itself on its own. All right, so that's good. This is the Cosmic Desktop Environment. All right, so this is my first time taking a look at it. It looks similar to uh, GNOME. So let's see how the... Uh, yeah, we got a calendar in the middle. Then you got your system tray on the right. And then all the buttons are separated onto their own. Then we have applications, which opens up a, uh, looks like a menu. And it looks like nothing's installed on here. But this, I'm using a scroll wheel. There's no other pages or other screens you look at. But maybe clicking down here. Let me see what library home takes us right here. How about office? All right. Office takes us to a few uh, few things right here. Then you got system. You got utilities. 
And then right here, we can add another group. So if we want to create a new group, we'll just click on this button right here, give it a name. And that would be a new group. And from right here, you can put whatever, uh, whatever applications you want or whatever, just put whatever you want. There is a, a icon right here, so you can rename it and you can also delete it. So let's say, uh, click delete. Click on delete, and now it deleted the new group. All right, and this is your application menu. Now, workspaces. Let me see how workspaces work. Click on workspaces. I believe it should be a few of them here. But uh, seems like this is the only workspace that we're on right now. So, all right. And then right here, we have a search. It looks like on the panel or dock, whatever you want to call it on the bottom. Let's just go through these one-on-one. -on -one. So, yeah, this is a search. So, right here, you can just start typing. And then right here, I'm guessing this is workspaces because it looks similar to when I clicked on workspaces. And then this right here, this is your applications menu. Then, of course, you got Firefox, File Manager, and I believe this is a notepad or text editor. And it is. And then next to that, we have a terminal. And then this looks like a software manager. Let's see if it is. I'm guessing that it is, but it's not giving me, it just labels everything by work, develop. Uh, everything seems to be just a little bit laggy, but then again, we have to remember this is the alpha. So there is more to come. So on the games, you got some games. Let me start all over again. Maybe it just had to, had to populate itself. So yeah, it looks like it did. So under Explorer, you got options, you got editor's choice, and then you got popular apps. If you scroll down, it gives you more. Same thing for work develop you got learn but uh let's install something real quick let's go under uh let's try develop is that what we're on right now we're on there and develop let's see let's install genie so we'll click on genie we'll click on install and it looks like it's going through the installation and it did not ask me for a password but then again it's not done yet so it may still ask me for a password but as of now, it has not asked for a password. Okay, now Genie has finished installed and it looks like it installed from FlatHub. I don't know if you could change these options or not. Like I said, this is still an alpha, it's still new. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open it up and see if it opens up Genie. And like I said, this never asked for a password or anything like that. So, this is a uh, ID text editor. So, you can you know, want to write some code, want to write whatever, you can do it all right here. All right, but I'll just go ahead and close it and I don't need to save anything. All right, so I'm trying to see if there's an about on here and I don't think there is. So yeah, it just gives you information about the application you installed, but it doesn't really give you options to take a look like at, a, at the about or uh, the software manager itself. And I'm not seeing nowhere on here where it's telling me what it is that I have open. The only indicator is just this, uh, it's kind of like highlighted in a circle and has like a blue dot underneath it. But other than that, there's no indication of what app is open, what it is. There's, as far as I know, this app doesn't have a name. Well, let me go back to the beginning. Yeah, I don't see a name for the app. Let's see if I can find XProp through here. No results for XProp. All right, so this is the uh, package manager that it has. And let me see, if I leave it hovered, is it going to give me a name if I right click it? Okay, I have to right click it and now it comes up Cosmic App Store. So I'll just go ahead and click that. And the terminal we were using is, well, it doesn't give me a, let me open it. And then if I right click, let's see if it tells me Cosmic Term. So yeah, this is going to be Cosmic Term. And this uh, this text editor right here, this is going to be a Cosmic Text Editor. Okay, so everything's probably going to be Cosmic. So I'm going to guess this is Cosmic File Manager. Let's go ahead and right click and Cosmic Files. All righty. So this is in the alpha stage. It still has a lot of work to uh, be done onto it. But uh, let's open up a web browser. Let's make this bigger and 
let's go to the pop os website and here we are pop os by system 76 and to find the download link here for uh pop os when i downloaded it from the regular page let's say i click right here where it says download i think it takes me to the older it takes me to the 2204 but the one that we want is going to be the uh the 2404 is the one with the cosmic so let me see on here if i can figure out how to get to the cosmic download i think you go to learn more about cosmic all right and this is the uh, web page for the cosmic release itself and right here is where you have the uh, isos to download right here so you have the amd and the nvidia separate isos so choose whichever one that you would want and you know you take it from there all right but i'll have uh i'll have both of these links down in the video description i have the links to pop os and to the uh to the cosmic version because for some reason they don't make the download obvious I guess because it's still in the alpha, that's why the download is separated like this. But uh, I'll go ahead and I'll post this link right here. That way you'll know that this is the, uh, the download links for the Cosmic, which is the 24.04 LTS alpha, which you can see right there. All right. And it is an alpha one. So I don't know if it's going to go alpha, then beta, and then go to uh, official release. However they plan on doing it, it's up to them. But uh, this, is how, this is how we're taking a look at it. All right, so all in all, I would say that the system runs pretty well. It is a little laggy, but that could be because I'm in a virtual machine. If you're running it on bare metal, it could be different results. But always, remember, always test it out in a virtual machine if you can put it on bare metal. Because if you put it on bare metal and you don't know what it's about, you may have results that you don't like. So just, uh, just a little bit of friendly advice for you if you're going to take a look at the uh, Cosmic Desktop environment all right but uh as you can see you can see how it runs let me right click on the desktop see what it does right clicking on the desktop does not do anything let me try this top panel if i right click on the top panel nothing happens all right so uh, how would i go about let's say for example uh how would i go about setting up wallpapers let's try that so I'm typing wallpaper and nothing comes up. Let me try settings. All right, so right here, we got cosmic settings. Let me click on that and displays. It just gives us displays. Let's try desktop. Right here, we have the option for wallpaper. So from right here, we go to the wallpapers are down here. All right, so. It is a little tricky trying to figure everything out, but uh, yeah, they uh, they all show up. And there's a, like a little pause before the wallpaper shows up, but just click it one time, and then the wallpaper will show up. So, all right, so that's pretty straightforward, and that's how you get to your wallpapers. Let's go back, and it's going to be under your uh, cosmic settings under desktop. And right here, we also have appearance. So we'll go into appearance, and you got the options for dark or light. So if you click on light. You can see the uh, top and bottom panel change, but not the application itself. Go back to dark, and then you got some accent colors here. So I don't know which one is selected right now, but let's say I select this one. I'm clicking on them, and I don't see nothing happening. So I don't know, does it have to be activated? What does this do? Uh, you can just create your own color, I believe. All right, so I'm I'm clicking on them. All right, now I see an accent color that showed up. All right, so I guess because the colors are so close to each other, I couldn't really tell. But uh, I don't know if you could tell right now. But the wind the window border right now is changing color. Let me go to this one right here. So right there, you can see how it changed colors. All righty. Well, I'll just leave it on this yellow right here and leave it on that. Scroll down, see what else. We got changes for application or window background. So if I click on this, I'm not too sure what this is going to do right here. But uh, 
I'm just going to close it for now and go back to desktop. What else we got right here? Panel top bar with desktop controls and menus. So automatically hide panel. You have the option to do that. So see, you make it disappear, make it reappear by bringing your mouse back up there. Uh, position on screen right now is on top. What happens if I put it on the bottom? Okay. I don't know what happened. I think because we have the uh, the dock on the bottom, it's not allowing it to be there. So let me go back up here. All right, there's a panel now. All right, it is still a little buggy, and you can tell for it being an alpha, but uh, I mean, it does work. Everything is working. So right here, you got the options for the dock right there. So we can go ahead and uh, shut down the dock and see it disappear. And then we can turn it back on. We can automatically hide it. So that will bring your mouse to the bottom. It should come back on. Okay. I don't see it coming back on. So I'll just turn that back off. All right. There seems like there's still a lot of stuff on here that needs to be fixed. Let's make it smaller. Yeah, you can make it smaller. You can make it bigger. All right. Well, all in all, it's just a quick first look at the uh, Cosmic Desktop environment. Um, there's still a lot of things that need to work out on here and uh, get it organized better. But hey, you got to remember, these guys are building a, uh, a desktop environment from scratch. And, you know, they're trying to make it work and work great. But as far as the system itself, I mean, everything does work. It's just little details that they're going to have to work out, like uh, tool tips and things like that. Uh, a better task manager to let you know what's actually opened up and what's not opened up, you know, things like that. Minor, minor little nitpicks. But all in all, I mean, it does work. It's there. It's working. I need to get something. You might have to search for it to find it, but it'll all come in due time. Got to remember, this is an alpha release, so it's all slowly but surely going to come into play. All right. But anyway, this is just a first look at the uh, Cosmic Alpha desktop environment. And this is on Pop! OS. This is uh, the Alpha 1. So I expect more Alphas to be released. And uh, I'll take a look at them as they come out. All right. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. Just a quick look, first look at uh, Pop! OS and the Cosmic Alpha 1. All right. And that's going to do it for this first look. And I'm out.